I'm uh, Sarah Ayers Rigsby. I work for the Florida Public Archaeology Network. We are a statewide educational organization. Uh, we're actually founded by state statute and we're dedicated to promoting and preserving stewardship of Florida's archaeological heritage, including this archaeological site here at the Jupiter Inlet Lighthouse and Museum. Here I actually do a lot of different things. We're really fortunate to partner with the Jupiter Inlet Lighthouse and Museum and the Bureau of Land Management on different archaeological projects throughout the site. We do everything from archaeology merit badges, we have public days, so we partner with the Jupiter Inlet Lighthouse and Museum to welcome kids for Junior Ranger where they can go around and visit different stations and learn all about archaeology. We work to document the impacts of climate change to this site, so like many coastal sites here in Florida, this site is significantly threatened by climate change climate change and coastal erosion. So we help to photograph and do other types of documentation to illustrate how that is impacting the archaeological site. We work with the Jupiter Inlet Lighthouse and Museum and our partners with the Bureau of Land Management. The Bureau of Land Management and the Jupiter Inlet District work together to actually develop this living shoreline to stabilize the site. So now instead of the shoreline being lost at the rate of feet per year, and of course I'm interested in that because I'm an archaeologist, so so every part of that shoreline we lose, we're losing the evidence of the archaeological record, we're losing our ability to tell the story about what people were doing here and what their lives were like. I'm really happy with work that's been done and obviously with the pier and everything. You can walk out and view the shoreline, which is really great. Okay, so one of the coolest artifacts we've ever found at this site was actually all the way over where the old museum building, which is uh, you know currently closed while they're doing this construction, down by the fence line over there. They were doing some remediation work. So in the process of trying to remove this old infrastructure, one of the artifacts that was turned up was a stone gorget and it was made out of a type of stone that we see in Georgia. We were really privileged to work with the Jupiter Inlet Lighthouse and Museum for Family Adventure Day. As part of this event, children and their families could come and learn all about archaeology. So we had different stations set up uh, about things like what people were eating in the past, how people were using the site in the past, and the tools archaeologists might use. And kids could travel around to the different stations. They could meet real archaeologists. The Jupiter Inlet Lighthouse and Museum put together an adventure booklet for the kids, so they had mazes, trivia questions, and things like that.